Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner. Um, this has been around for quite a while. A lot of times I get this at the movies or I don't know, sometimes I wish they actually had the other one that they had in the past but I guess they've discontinued that flavor and this is a, a, good, a good one that's been around for quite a while. It's one of my mom's favorite uh, candies. And this is Hershey. Okay, Hershey does this one. And um, I'm sure you've probably been to the movies and seen this a lot. It's good old, good and plenty. It's the black licorice with the um, the pink and white uh, coating on the outside. It's not like Mike and Ike's. It is um, licorice candy, artificial flavored. 25 pieces per serving, 110 calories. And um, yeah, good and plenty's been around for quite a while. They also had one a while back called Good and Fruity, and it was kind of like Mike and Ike's. It was like a fruity uh, flavor. I think it was like, uh, you know, uh, cherry, lemon, lime, um, orange, I believe. And it, it was kind of along the same lines, but it was uh, sweet. This one is just plain black licorice in the middle. And I don't know if people are a fan of black licorice or if they're a fan of um, <laughs> the red licorice. But this one was truly a classic. And they it's been around for, you know, as long as I remember. And like I said, a lot of times, movies, you'd get it with the Raisinets and the Snow Caps and the um, Milk Duds and um, all the other kind of boxed movie candies. And if I could ever get the Hot Tamales, that's another classic one. Always be at the movie theaters and be at a premium. Could get the box of, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. Dollar. Um, but the big boxes at the um, movie theaters were, you know, pretty expensive. They were bigger size, but, you know, you had to pay for a premium anyways. You get the, the dots and the licorice and the, all the other stuff. All right. So, yes. A little pink little pink ones they're like just like little um coated bits kind of like mike and ike's or um and then the white and they've got the black licorice in the middle <laughs> right away yeah you can taste that black licorice on there and also got the little ah, a little bit sweet on the outside they have another thing called licorice all sorts it's kind of like this one <laughs> These were like, I mean, I, I liked them a little bit when I was um, a little, every once in a while, yeah, black licorice, little bits of it. These weren't too bad because they're small enough and you didn't have to eat like a whole rope or um, big chunk of it. You could have one or two and then close the box up and, hmm. but like I said, very unique flavor. Either you love it or you hate it. Black licorice. And then that little bit of a candy shell on the outside. Kind of also reminds me of like the um, the pastel colors that were like Jordan Almonds and some of the other ones with the you know, real bright coatings. But <laughs> if you were a fan, um, these were probably good. Like I said, these were kind of my mom's favorite ones. Every once in a while, she gets a box and has some. Um, but a lot of times, they were hard to kind of find sometimes. A lot of places don't carry them anymore. They're kind of like, gone out of favor, old fashioned candies. A lot of places aren't carrying them just because um, they're not as popular with the um, I don't know, folks. And a lot of the people don't like the black licorice. They don't like the um, the little bit of a really sharp black licorice. licorice. They'd rather have the red vines or the um, Twizzlers. They've got all the different other kind of flavors now. Um, but if you were a, a real diehard 
black licorice flavor. Also candies. Um, yeah, these were always classic. And they've been around as long as I know. Most of the time, yeah. Movie theaters. Um, sometimes, yeah, you'd get them. Ice Cream Man used to have them when you'd, uh, you'd come around. <laughs> And I think these were, you know, maybe 50 cents a box or something like that. A lot of times I would also get it at the, um, the, I mean, not really a drugstore, but it was like, um, they had a couple other stores around here. Yeah, they were like, <clears throat> they were like little, little mini department stores, like local, local chains. They weren't like a big one, but they had a whole lot of different ones. They had a couple places around here. One place I used to go was called Thrifties. They had ice cream for like five cents a scoop that was back in the old days and then they had all the candy and the um uh all the other stuff and then i remember going in there all the time and getting um candy and they always had the the cool stuff the um bubblegum cigarettes the neko wafers chunky bars all the old classic hershey bars john nader's mike and ike's all that stuff and then they had where you can the front where you can get ice cream one five cents a scoop and they weren't really scoops they were like little hockey puck type things and they'd put that on there i remember going in there all the time and you know mom would give you a quarter you'd be able to get a box of uh, good and plenties and um uh, scoop of ice cream and they were in the little cheapo sugar sugar cones but um and they had a lot of other cool stuff in there you know little kids and back when things weren't all that expensive or the little mini the mini boxes of mike and ice these would also be i know at halloween time you get a bag and there would be little mini boxes of them they have like three or four the little pieces in there or the Red Hots, kind of along the same lines. Little mini boxes, <laughs> they only had like two or three. I guess those were for the people that were kind of stingy and <laughs> didn't want to um, have the, the full box of them or whatever. But yeah, these also taste like um, the Necco wafers have uh, that black licorice flavor also the other one that they had kind of along the line is called black crowns it's like a gumdrop thing but it's all black licorice and they also used to have licorice pipes they were like a pipe but they were shaped they were shaped like a pipe but it was all licorice kind of along the lines of the bubblegum cigarettes i don't i don't know if i could find those i've seen them on some websites but um yeah, black licorice was kind of all the rage with the, um, you know, the older people. Been along for a while. A lot of people remember, you know, used to get a bag of licorice or, you know, licorice bits or whatever. But, um, yeah, if you were a true fan of uh, Good and Plenty and a little bit of the, you know, coating on the outside, always kind of cool to go back and get yourself a box and it is fat free <laughs> so anyways yeah 25 pieces 110 calories so that's not too bad maybe back in your childhood you remember having some of those old, old classic ones and a lot of the time some people like candy that wasn't popular amongst everybody else but I don't know, some people like i said love it or hate it black licorice is around and uh, most people don't really care for it as much they'd rather have the regular red red vines or twizzlers or the strawberry bits or the flavored ones i've seen all kinds of different ones hawaiian punch and, uh, and sour apple watermelon yeah they, they're getting into all the different kind of flavors now but for a true classic and uh pick up a box of good and plenty and you know like i said it's a pretty good box and you probably won't eat all that much 
throughout the time, but um, then you have them there for when you want. Just a little bit of a, a sweet for maybe after dinner kind of cleanser palette, a little bit, but Good Plenty's been around for quite a while, so. Uh, pick yourself up a box and uh, uh, kind of go back to your childhood. So there you go. That's my memories on the Good and Plenty. So anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over here. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be trying something classic for you, um, I'll put these aside and have some more another time. And um, I'm always being on the lookout for all the classic candy, maybe that I haven't got to. Some of them have been around for quite a while and they're kind of hiding in plain sight. So there you go. So anyways, until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.